Hey, what's going on everybody? In the last video, I shared with you how to make a simple sign using a single V-carve toolpath. We're gonna keep it simple in this video, but the same principles can be applied for larger, more complicated carves. So let's go ahead and jump into Carve by Create and let me show you how to do that. All right guys, so in this particular example, I've already created the hello, um, kept it from last time. And what I've created here are some vectors uh, using the create vector and I used the rectangle ones. And so I created these little rectangles on the left and the right and then the overall uh, box essentially. And so what I wanna do is I wanna select here, while I'm in the design tab, I wanna select the text and I'm then now going to click on the toolpath. And again, we're gonna keep it V-carve. And I'm gonna go pretty fast here because I've already showed you this, but if you need to rewatch it, that's the great thing about YouTube. You can pause and, and go back. So I'll set up my V-carve. I'm gonna do stock bottom. I won't name it, it's just a V-carve. All right, perfect, so now that's set up. All right, so now that the V-carve is set up, I'm going to go back to my design tab, and this time I'm going to select these rectangles on the side. All I'm doing is holding shift and clicking on the vectors. I'll go back to the toolpath option, and in this case, I want to pocket. I want to keep my 102 1 8 end mill, but I'm going to edit the plunge rate and the feed rate. Uh, so I'm gonna go 90, 80. Click OK, and I'm going to keep it at 0 0.02 for max depth. So I'll select OK. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to select this, oh, go back to the design tab. I'll select the outer rectangle, go back to tool paths. This I want to do a contour. Same thing, I want to keep this as my 102 1 8. And let's go ahead and change that back to 90 80. RPM is 18,000, max depth is 0 0.02, and I want the offset direction to be on the outside. I want to, so if you're looking at this sign here, let me just uh, keep it inside left. It's telling you that this blue line is where the end mill is going to carve. So the red line is my vector, but the blue line is where the end mill will carve. So I'm going to go back to the contour tool path, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to edit the operation and I want to carve, I want the offset direction to be outside right. So now the end mill will carve on the outside. At this point, once we have all the tool paths set up, depending on how big or complicated the carve is, I typically, I typically like to save each individual toolpath separately and once one toolpath has been completed i'll then upload the next one so now that we've saved the g code once we enter this into carbide motion once the v carve has completed carbide motion will prompt us to change out our tool and enter the 1 8 end mill and once we've changed that Carve by Motion will automatically carve out not only the pocket, but also the contour toolpath. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so just some background information. Oh. I've already initialized my machine with the 60 degree V-bit, and I've also set my zeros for X, Y, and Z axis. So I'm gonna go back to Carve by Motion now and go ahead and hit Run. It's asking me to start with the 60 degree V bit, so let's do that. It's already initialized to that, and we'll go. So on my screen in carbide motion, it automatically prompted me to turn off the spindle. So I'll do that now. And it's going to prompt me now to insert my 1 8 end mill. So let's go ahead and do that. So to change to the 1 8 end mill, I do need to also change my collet. So if you don't know how to do that, take a look at the video that I've uploaded on how to change your collet. Now with the 1 8 end mill inserted, let's run the other toolpaths. When I initially set this up in Carbide Create, 
I did not set the RPM correctly when I did the uh, contour toolpath. So that's why it prompted me to change my router speed settings. But if I had kept those the same uh, as what they should have been, 18,000 RPMs, it would not have prompted me to change the spindle speed. So just keep that in mind. This could be as far as you want to take this sign. But what if you want to cut the sign out as a shape, as a circle or square or any shape for that matter? To achieve that in Carbide Create, you're going to want to create a contour toolpath. So if you want to see how that's set up, go ahead and click on the screen right now and I'll show you how to do that. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.